Officer Zelenevsky or Officer Z. I'm with Patrol on First Watch from the Normal Police Department. Today I'm going to read to you a story called Purple Pickle Juice. This particular book is written by Erica Farber and J.R. Sansevier. It's one of Mercer Meyer's Critters of the Night series. It was my personal favorite as a little kid uh, for two reasons actually. One, because my mom did these awesome voices, which I'm going to try to do. Mom, if you're listening, I'm really sorry that I probably won't do them justice. And two, because the uh, main character, Thistle Howl, was short or gravitationally advantaged, like me. And so um, comment on this book if somebody tells you, kids, that you can't be something because you're too short or too thick or too thin or a boy or a girl, because people told me all the time I was too short to be a cop and look where I am today. So I hope you like this book. This is Thistle Howl. This is Old Howl Hall. Thistle Howl lived in Old Howl Hall. Thistle had a brother named Axel. She had a mother named Wanda, and she had a father named Jack. As you can see, Thistle Howl was the smallest howl of all. Every morning, Thistle Howl ate a big breakfast and drank a big glass of purple pickle juice. She drank a big glass of purple pickle juice because she thought that purple pickle juice would make her grow. When she finished her purple pickle juice, Thistle Howl marched upstairs to her bedroom and she closed her door. Then she held her hands high above her head and stood on her tippy toes and said, Hands above, feet below. Grow, I say. Grow, grow, grow. But no matter how many glasses of purple pickle juice she drank, Thistle Howl did not grow. She did not grow at all. One day, Thistle started getting mad. She began to shout, Hand above, feet below. Grow, I say. Grow, grow, grow. Suddenly, there was a big bang and a cloud of smoke filled the room. Thistle Howl, called the deep voice. It was Thistle's Auntie Belle. Hello, Auntie Belle, called Thistle. What are you doing? asked Auntie Belle. I'm making a spell, said Thistle. I want to grow. You say you want some snow, said Auntie Belle. That's easy. Auntie Belle snapped her fingers, rubbed her nose, and took off her shoes. Auntie Belle took off her shoes because her feet always swelled when she did her magic spells. Suddenly, it began to snow. There was snow everywhere. I don't want snow, said Thistle. I want to grow. Grow, you say? That's easy. Before Thistle could stop her, Auntie Belle blinked her eyes three times and said, Bubble, bubble, blueberry jam, row, row, row as fast as you can. As you may be able to tell, Auntie Belle did not hear very well. In a twinkle, Thistle and Auntie Belle were in a boat. Row, 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 said Auntie Belle. No, 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 said Thistle. I don't want to row. I want to grow. Grow, said Auntie Belle. All you want to do is grow? Why didn't you say so? I did say so, said Thistle. I said I wanted to grow. Then grow you shall, said Auntie Belle. Auntie Belle and Thistle flew through the woods to Auntie Belle's little house. Now, we are going to make a magic potion, said Auntie Belle. It will make you grow. Auntie Belle lit a fire under her big black pot. Then she opened her book of magic spells. This is what we need, said Auntie Belle. One bat tooth, two frog toes, three leaves of poison ivy, and four cat hairs. Meow. Auntie Belle put everything into her big black pot. Then she mixed the potion with a big spoon. She said this big spell three times. Leaves of ivy, tooth of bat, toes of frog, and hairs of cat. 
Abracadabra, strawberry pie, make this will grow as high as the sky. Then Auntie Belle gave Thistle a cup of the magic potion. Drink this, she said to Thistle. It will make you grow. So Thistle drank the magic potion and started to grow. And grow. And grow. Small, said Auntie Belle. Well, that's another spell. Auntie Belle opened her book of magic spells. She threw some magic powder up in the air. Then she said this small spell. Smaller than the smallest bug with powder from my magic jug. You shall be small, yes, small you'll be. And all before you count to three. One, said Thistle. Two said Thistle. Suddenly, Thistle started to shrink, and she kept on shrinking, and shrinking, and shrinking. Now I am too small, said Thistle to Auntie Belle. Can't you do another spell? There are no more spells, said Auntie Belle. The rest is up to you. Now click your heels and clap your hands and say, Thistle is who I am, I am. Thistle is who I am. Thistle clicked her heels and clapped her hands. Then she said, Thistle is who I am, I am. Thistle is who I am. Suddenly, Thistle began to grow. She kept right on growing until she was her very own size. I don't want to be big, and I don't want to be small, said Thistle. Auntie Belle just smiled. She had known that all along. The next morning, Thistle Howl drank a big glass of purple pickle juice for breakfast. She drank a big glass of purple pickle juice just because she liked it. That was Purple Pickle Juice by Erica Farber and J.R. Stanzibir. I hope you liked it. Just want to give a big shout out to my nephews Bryce and Caden in Ohio. I hope you guys like this book as much as I did when I was a kid and I hope I get to read it to you in person sometime soon.